back here would be maybe what's in the central office. And um, that launches uh, from gigabit ethernet, 10 gigabit ethernet um, into light. Um, two frequencies, um, for one for uplink and one for downlink. Um, that will go out to a fiber distribution hub somewhere in the neighborhood. And then that light will just be split up um, optically and passively and go to each home where it's then converted uh, into RF at uh, a device in the house. Now, um, for fixed wireless access, you replace this with a millimeter wave system, and that would go out here in your fiber distribution hub, maybe picking up 64 homes on a, a tower or a light post or something with, with a millimeter wave, be, uh, probably four of them like I just described, um, that would be um, going from home to home. And so the, the big reason we get so much bandwidth in millimeter waves, well, spectral efficiency in the millimeter waves, is because of the, the bandwidth. Um, you know, so you typically, you'll have 400 megahertz channels, or even 800 megahertz channels, and that's just a tremendous amount of uh, data you can, you can put over those channels. So think of it a, a fire hose of, of data that you're pointing from home to home because um, these millimeter wave systems run over the entire bandwidth. So um, it just hops from home to home, even on the, uh, at the TTI level. So the whole bandwidth at up to 0.2 milliseconds can be going from one home to another home. And so you go to one home, fill up their, their buffer uh, a few milliseconds to another home to another home. That's how those systems work. <coughs> So, CP mounting options, uh, um, if you have to, you go on the roof, um, you know, with a dish, if maybe you're at the far edge of the cell and you can't put something on the side of the house or in the house. Um, the, the drawbacks are there is skilled installation, accurate alignment, you know, um, like what you do with a direct TV dish or something, but not pointing at a, a light pole in your neighborhood or something. Window mount is a good way to go. Uh, you know, now this could be a self-install, fairly simple. Um, but there's, you know, some placement limitations. You gotta find a window in the right spot. Now, ideally, uh, indoor CPE likely point you through a window. I mean, maybe, you know, someone will come up with a way to move it away from the window, but um, I would imagine that's how it's gonna be now. Even this is gonna be challenging. IRP limitations, and, uh, but this is the ideal uh, you know, self-install by the user. Just, you know, we, we went through uh, the link budget calculations. I'm not going to tackle this right here now. Uh, for all three cases that I just described, and, you know, we're, we're confident in, uh, in both the technical case and the, uh, the business case for millimeter wave wireless access. Um, so up here on the left you can see this would be uh, in a neighborhood. Um, those yellow lines would be how you deploy the, the fiber, the fiber to the home. Back there where you see the little square, um, if you're talking fiber, that would be the fiber distribution hub. Um, that's where you might put your millimeter wave access tower and you could replace all these individual fibers going to each home with uh, wireless. And so that's the advantage um, uh, in terms of cost, really, to deploy and uh, speed of deployment. So if you're, you're the second uh, operator in the neighborhood, um, rather than dig up the streets and put fiber down with all that expense, you can deploy millimeter wave access and do it quite quickly. Um, so in this case, our analysis is we, we pick up with one of our sectors uh, 64 homes, and uh, we could supply, uh, uh, you know, maybe fit, pick up a subscriber rate of 50% of those homes uh, and give them a gigabit per second uh, max throughput, maybe uh, 100 gigabits per second 